everyone, my name is Maria and I am an educator at History Miami Museum and I am here today to share um, a little bit of my Miami story. So in 2003, my family and I uh, moved from Venezuela. We migrated here to South Florida um, and this for me was a very hard transition coming from a completely different country and leaving my family behind. Um, but something that made it easier was the place where uh, my mom, my dad, my sister, and I landed, and we actually landed in Doral. Um, and this was, at the time I didn't know it, but this was very important for me um, now that I look back because Doral was a place where many Venezuelans were living at, at the time and even still today. Uh, just like Little Haiti and Little Havana, we had our little hub of people in Doral. Um, and in every street corner, um, in every gas station, there was a restaurant um, that was selling traditional food, whether it was tequeños, cachapas, arepas, empanadas. They were selling these foods and it made that transition coming from a completely different country and leaving most of my family behind a little bit easier because when I was eating the food, I felt like I was home um, and it was something that made me feel so much better. Um, I have these, this memory um, when I was younger and going to church um, and at the time, the church was in an elementary school, in a local elementary school in Doral. Um, and after church, we would either go eat at a gas station or we would go eat at a restaurant. And a lot of the same people that were at church um, would be at that restaurant or at that gas station grabbing a snack, getting food, buying pequeños, empanadas, whatever it may be. Um, and we all shared this commonality of missing home, being away from home, but connecting through food um, and just for that you know five minutes that you're eating this you felt like you were back home and it was a way to connect with other people um, and now you know um, 16 years later 15 16 years later uh, Jarrell is still a pretty young city um, it may not have history when it comes to monuments um, but the people that live there have history and they have stories to tell um, and these are stories of bravery, resilience, and strength uh, that live in Doral, and that's why I feel so grateful to be have to have been raised in a city like Doral and lived among all of these people.